Hi, I'm Mason Hayaton with Gallery M in the Art Quarterly, and we're here with Myrna Hayaton, International Society appraiser and co-founder of Gallery M. Today we're going to talk a little bit about what makes photography great and meaningful and discuss the work here by Howard Schatz, which is uh, from his Botanica series. So Myrna, what do you know about Howard Schatz? Well, it's hard to put in words everything that I, I know about Howard. We've been working with him since the gallery opened and we're now in our 25th year. Uh -huh. um, and he is really, his creativity is astounding. And in regards to his Botanica, I remember him telling me that he told the florists who came once a week with wonderful flowers, don't bring me anything that I've ever seen before. I want to be surprised. I want to be in awe. And that is his concept that every time he looks through his viewfinder, he is in awe of what he's seeing. So was it uh, a series that set him apart? How, how do you reflect on his uh, discussion, if you, will, if you will, of the floral? Well, it set him apart because he likes to do collections. And so he focused on the on botanica, and he did a whole series. He has a book um, of his botanic uh, uh, images, and these are all signed and limited. And the format that he printed in, depending on the time, photography has kind of a marker uh, because it's a technology. It you know that it's evolved from the turn of the century, if not a little before, before yes. all the way to today. Correct. And it's constantly morphing, as we know from Instagram and Facebook, and everyone has access to a camera. To be a master of the medium, how has he been recognized? When you're saying, how has he been recognized, he's being collected. Yeah. That's being recognized. He also comes from a, a different background than many photographers. He is a scientist. He is a well-known international retina specialist. So he understands what the camera can do. He understands how it works like the eye works. Wow. And so he has a different vision than just uh, someone picking up a camera. Yeah. And I, I like to refer to him as the living, working Avedon today uh, because he does press the medium. He's won many international awards, most recently this year. Uh, in photography, if you speak to a photographer, typically they know of his body of works, if not already have his whole collection of books and some of his own works. We're fortunate to have this image. Uh, he has used the scientific names of each of his photographs of the flower. So what his beauty here was using color and the uh, mediums and how he printed it to really get the resonance that you see in this work of art. And, and may I interject yeah. that this um, body of work was done before he really transferred into digital photography. So it was done with film. Um, so that is a marker as you were talking about the historical significance. Okay, so in the situation of collecting, should you want to work that's current or do you want something that was taken right when it was shot? What's, what's the importance well, of a photograph? Depending on why you're collecting, uh, most serious collectors would prefer to have vintage photographs, which means it was printed within the first year of the existence of the negative. Um, that definition has been widened, um, so if, if that's available, that's what you want to collect, but it's not always available. So if you want that image in your collection, you're going to collect the one that is the best one available at the time you want to add it to your collection. So compared to other investments, uh, you really don't like talking about art as an investment because people like to connect with it. But currently, the environment in real estate, in art, in uh, finance, of course, investment is what's really important. Uh, so 
photography is considered a long-term investment. Absolutely. In the short term, can you expect to flip it like a house? Depending on what the image is and who the photographer is, okay. the answer is sometimes yes, sometimes no. Well, does a $92 million sale of art mean that the art market is overpriced? No, Rarity came into play on that sale. So Howard has actually had a comment on Botticelli with his Birth of Venus series right. and also on the Renaissance period with uh, various works. Uh, including uh, the Last Supper and, and whatnot. So he has set his mark in a, a similar way that other significant artists had commented on works that inspired him, or has right. he been purely creative like with what you see here? Both. Okay. He, he's done both. He understands history and he respects it and reveres it. So if he is going back to the birth of Venus, um, he is pulling forward the idea of that painting and in, in interpreting it in the way he creates. Okay, so this is a signed and limited edition vintage work, but it's also available as an archival pigment print. Correct. And is from the Botanica series. Correct. Okay. Botanica by Howard Schatz.